Welcome to the Peerless YouTube channel. I am Katie North and this is our third class in the hair series, a tight spiral curl with a chestnut brown color. Uh, this one's really fun. It's more of like a, a freestyle flow to the hair and we do use masking fluid. And yeah, I feel like it's a really good start to doing this kind of texture of hair. Um, there's a lot going on. I feel like we could do this one a bunch of different ways, but for the sake of this series and having it be the little simplified version, this is a really good place to start. And yeah, I'm sure down the line we will be doing another one as well. So hope you enjoy. For your supplies, you'll be needing Peerless watercolors, hair pack and regular pack, watercolor brush and paper, masking fluid, an extra small brush, an artist pen, a pencil and double-sided tape and scissors. Once you have your paint palette made, we are going to be transferring our drawing into our watercolor journal. Uh, my last hair tutorial is actually on the opposite side of this page, so I can't use my light box to transfer it in. So I'm just gonna freehand draw it from my reference photo that I did. Um, kind of that rounder shape, kind of, I'm kind of circled some areas where I want it to be the darkest and to make sure to kind of fill in some some depth. Um, but yeah, just get the general shape on there. I'm not filling any, any of the, the faces, just like the first two tutorials too. So I'm not too worried about it. It's a pretty simple, you know, simple overall shape. And then what we are going to do is pour a little masking fluid and then either use a toothpick, a, a calligraphy pen, um, a really tiny microscopic, scopic, tiny paintbrush. And all I'm going to do is do very, very tight spiral little circles and even just individual circles some places. So you can see when I kind of tilt it, um, some will look like they're a little bit spiraled out and then some will just be a single circle but just kind of filling up a lot like you don't I don't feel like you could do too much of the masking fluid on this one just because like the other ones we kind of start light to dark and with this one since I want it to be a really rich like chestnut color what we're doing is putting the dark in the first and then as the masking fluid comes off those are going to be the lighter pieces and the pieces that are coming out and closer that fill in the shape so I feel like I could have done a little bit more masking fluid. So obviously you guys can do more than I did. So that will, um, yeah. So we're gonna put that down and then let it dry completely before the next layer. Okay, so we are ready to start the first layer of hair color. And what you're going to want to do is just fill the entire circular section of the hair with a wet on wet technique between the chestnut color and the mahogany brown. And it's going to kind of give it a really nice richness and depth to it. You can add, while it's wet on wet technique, add where you dark those darker areas, kind of closer to her face and jawbone area. I want it a little bit darker and then kind of up in the crown, just like, I like sporadically just add a little bit. You will get more depth and like curl definition with the next couple layers. So don't worry about all that stuff too much right now. But while it's still wet, you want to do individual kind of tendrils and tight spiral curls coming out of the very outer circle edges. So you don't have that total like sharp circle and you want it to look more natural with a little bit of those curls popping out.
So the outer rings are done and that inside of the circle is still kind of wet and I wanted a softer kind of like shadowed effect for some of the curls that are popping out. So I'm using the dark brown hair from the hair pack and while that, that kind of mahogany and chestnut hair is slightly wet, I'm doing a spiral curl pattern on top of that, knowing that it's just gonna soften and be a little bit more um, blended. And then after this layer, I'm gonna let it dry 100% because then I'm gonna add those detailed curls and I want those to stand out and not be so soft and blended. Okay, so zoomed in a little bit, you can see kind of that separation of where some of those curls were starting to go. I just feel like it gives it a little bit of more of a natural kind of texture and when we put these individual spirals down, those are gonna act like some of the shadows and it's gonna kind of give it more of that roundness shape that we're looking for. So again, like the rest of the other tutorials, starting with the um, that basic shapes and everything that you wanna do, the more layers you go, you're gonna be able to get more and more detail. The tricky part is going with these darker tones first is if you do too much, you're gonna end up with um, like overall too dark. I do feel like I made this one in the video a little bit too dark. I almost kind of liked my practice one a little bit better just because I didn't do as many darker sections. So keep in mind, sometimes less is a little bit more and it, you know, the simplified version of it almost kind of did look a little bit better because you have more, you know, contrast between light and the dark. So hopefully you guys add a little bit more um, basking fluid and you have more tendrils than I do. Um, but yeah, just kind of go, th go through it. You can use your mahogany brown, you can use your chestnut hair color and just start adding all of those curls into the shape. So you do kind of want to only make them like pop out just a little bit and then do another one. So if you do, you know, as, if you think about a round hair shape and a round like head shape, um, when you're looking at it, you're not gonna see it going like a straight line from like top to bottom or anything like that. You're, it's coming from her scalp. So just little pieces kind of coming out in, in sporadic little areas and then just maybe like a couple little spirals there and then another one next to it. It's gonna look more natural than something that's going like across side to side. So yeah, hope that hope that makes sense. Hi. So I feel like this is like the total fun part and kind of like it shows off the style. Um, you can do this so many different ways. I feel like if you had more masking fluid, you could put like a, you know, a funky color down or like even like a red or, or a yellow or, you know, anything really. And if you really wanted to do just those tendrils in like a blue, oh my gosh, it'd be so pretty. So it's really up to you how you want to do it. I am making this one look a little bit more natural. Um, but yeah, once you take that masking fluid, you have that nice clean slate of those white, the white paper for those curls. So you can make it anything that you want as long as you're not picking up too much of that brown. Um, but yeah, basically wiping away, kind of peeling away all of that masking fluid after it's completely dry. Make sure it's completely dry. Um, and then I'm just going to kind of pick up some of the paint next to it and a little bit of the mahogany and kind of work it into some of those spiral curls and and then um kind of just like make sure i have some of those darker tendrils completing the curls with the blonde at the end of it if that makes sense
So I actually like the way it turned out just like this with those blonde little highlighted curls. Uh, I did go back through and add some super tight little spirally curls and I wanted it to look like the highlight, but I feel like the gel pen just wasn't the right material to use for this one. And I think I actually liked it better before I did the white highlight. So if you want to learn from my experience, I would just, you know, more masking fluid, more tendrils. Um, yeah, definitely having a little bit more of like a highlighted, like brighter pieces um, and just skipping the highlighter um, with the gel pen this time. Cause I just, yeah, it just doesn't, didn't quite do it for me, so. But yeah, so yeah, getting close to the end. Um, this one was really fun. I think I will definitely redo it. I think I wanna make um, like a chestnut and then some of the highlighted pieces. I wanna do like a teal or a turquoise. Oh, it'd be so pretty. I think, yeah, I think that's what I wanna do next. I think it'd be really cool. But yeah, so I hope this is a great, a great tutorial for you to kind of play with these, you know, structured hair, spiral type curls. And I hope you enjoyed it. And that's it. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe and share with your friends. And I will see you next time for the red hair.